It's like YouTube proof that fitness doesn't just help your fitness. You gotta be so good that they can't ignore you. Especially the ones that ain't done shit for you. Yeah, you know exactly what I mean. They stab you in the back and then they ask why you're bleeding. I don't trust words. I trust actions. I don't care what you heard. I'm not slacking. My name's Alan Roberts. This is Everyday Day Fitness. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell over here, and share my videos, motherfuckers. Thank you very much. Check out my second channel. It's Alan Roberts. In my opinion, of course, it's actually just titled Alan Roberts. But it's where the home of my In My Opinion, of course, podcast is going to be. Uh, and it's linked below and above and at the end. And I'm going to talk about fitness and non-fitness related stuff. I needed a channel that didn't have fitness in the fucking name in order to be able to talk about non-fitness related stuff. Anyway, because I didn't want to confuse the audience. Blah, 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 all that bullshit. But recently, I've been talking about these few fashion biscuits. Uh, the fashion biscuits are like the fashionistas junior. Uh, and they are you know, a group of these guys in the fashion niche on YouTube that have been taking shots at uh, you know Aaron Marino, Alpha M, uh, and Jose Zaniga, Teach Men's Fashion. Now, uh, if you are, have been watching my channel for a while, you remember way back I've made some videos about both of these motherfuckers. You ugly, you ugly. Your mama says you ugly, hey. And crazy enough, Aaron, not the silliest thing I've seen you do. Bang! Spin jump into alpha awesomeness. What the fuck? We're gonna be showing you three easy meals to gain more muscle. Yeah, I hope you're eating the fuck out of these things, buddy. Um, and I still fuck with them today, even though we're friends. They basically, uh, I made some videos about them when my channel first started. They invited me down to StyleCon, which is now Men's Flential. The second year, I, you know, I went down because I'm not a pussy. Uh, the second year, I went down uh, as a speaker, and this year I'll be there again as a speaker. Um, or on a panel, whatever. But, uh, so, basically, uh, I, you know, went down, talked to them, we talked out some shit, we actually came to, uh, to an agreement on, to agree to disagree on some shit, uh, they changed their mind about some shit, and I changed my mind about some shit too, it's actually what real men fucking do. Anyway, recently, getting recently, recently, a few of these guys, uh, you know, Ben Arthur and The Modest Man, The Modest Man hasn't made a video about this, but he's just taking shots and comments because he's a pussy. Um, and Ben, by the way, you are a pussy too because I saw you change the title of the video and then you turned uh, comments off. That's like screams, bitch, dude. Just fucking screams it. Anyway, hi, Ben. Uh, and then some other dude who looks like a rooster, in my opinion, of course. Okay, first of all, let's get one thing straight. If, if you are like a total gym person and you're into bodybuilding and whatever, do your thing. You do you. That's cool. If it makes you happy and you enjoy doing it, fuck it up, man. Do whatever you like. But the fact that Jose is saying here that if essentially what it boils down to, he's saying never settle for how you look. Don't be happy with how you look. Come check out our fucking sponsor about how to bodybuild so that you can look better. Really? I mean, I really, uh, but they've all made videos kind of dogging them. Right. And they were saying that they're, they're trying to say that their audience was ugly. They're like, they're like alpha M and Eric, uh, alpha M and, uh, teach men's fashion are insulting their audience, calling them ugly. It's fucking the biggest pussy shit in the world. Anyway, uh, I made some videos on that. Go check them out. They're going to be like the above and everything like that too. I think they're kind of funny anyway. And it pissed them the fuck off, which I actually fucking love, of course, cause I'm a total asshole and all you motherfuckers know that, but uh, it did highlight to me, it, it brought to my mind, you know, some stuff about fitness. Because in these videos, they, you know, two of these guys are talking about how uh, uh, Jose, you know, is kind of, you know, pretty much talks about fitness and, you know, it, it helps with your, you know, being a man and everything like that. And it helps, helps being, uh, you know, being successful and, you know, working hard and everything like that. And they're both kind of almost fit shaming him. Like, you know, it's not necessary and it's not blah, blah, blah. And it came to be uh, very clear to me that, uh, not only are these dudes pissed off that you know that Alpha M and you know Alpha M and Jose get more sponsors and have a larger audience and all like that, uh, because that's what it boiled down to, by the way. It's the amount of sponsors that these motherfuckers get, because they do almost all sponsored ads, if not all sponsored ads, on their main channels. They both have side channels that they give advice on for free too, but uh, on their main channels, their advertisement channels, it's the fucking reality. It it, it is what it is, and. Uh, I really think that that's what these people have the biggest fucking beef about. Uh, because, you know, they're trying to say that that's horrible even though they all fucking do it themselves. Fucking ridiculous, hypocritical bullshit. Here are some of the inspiring videos from Teaching Man's Fashion. The real reason why you have an ugly face. Sponsored. To keep it simple, the money that comes from sponsorships allows me to consistently upload more videos, spend more time on the videos, and make them better. 
The one reason why you are ugly, sponsor. I can't give you exact figures on this because it's a private agreement between me and the companies involved. But really, two sponsored videos in a month earns me more money than a whole month's worth of ad revenue. Five signs you might be ugly, sponsored. I want to take it to the next level and the only way to do that is to go full time on YouTube. And the only way that I can perceivably see that I'm gonna get there in under about two to three years is by doing more sponsorships. It got me thinking, well, these guys must know what they're talking about if they're in the fashion niche. And I don't know shit about fashion. This shirt is from Target, as with most of my other shirts that aren't my every damn day shirts. They're, they're, it's, I don't give a fuck. I really don't. If my wife thinks I'm sexy, I couldn't give a fuck less about how I fucking look. Uh, I shave my head and I fucking, you, I occasionally shave my head and occasionally shave my beard. That's the shit. That, 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 that's, that's literally what I do for, 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 for fashion. That's all. I mean, because I, I couldn't, couldn't care less. Because I am actually a believer that, you know, your confidence and shit like that is not something you actually put on and take off and take to the dry cleaner. It comes from you and hard work, right? And that's what brought me to this. These motherfuckers are basically fit shaming Alpha M and, uh, and TMF. They're pissed that these guys are more popular than them and get more money than them, get more sponsors than them, in my opinion, of course. And the reason is because they're both fitter than them. Aaron Marino is an ex-bodybuilder who takes care of himself all the fucking time. He, he does shit with bodybuilding.com, and I'm not a fan of bodybuilding.com, but does shit with bodybuilding.com. And Jose Zuniga, when I met Jose, I was bagging on him for being a fucking skinny kid talking about fitness. When I met him, he actually said, you know what, you're right, and I've taken this, 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 this step to get, you know, to get fit. And then him and I worked together to add 15 to 20 pounds of lean mass on him in about a year. Uh, to change his physicality and change, you know, and he's, you know, gotten much stronger and gained a lot of muscle mass. And it is when his channel blew the fuck up. He had a, a huge following when I first started dogging on him, like, you know, 400,000 people, 400,000 subscribers. But his channel has 3.5 million subscribers right now. Aaron Marino, former bodybuilder, has 4. million, 4.5 million subscribers. These other people are much, 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 much lower, and the, the content is probably very similar. The content probably has very, very, very similar ideas on what fashion is, because I can't imagine there being that much fucking different. Just like in fitness, there's, you know, the fucking elbow is a fucking hinge joint. There's only so many ways to do a curl with your fucking wrist at a different position. It's just the fucking reality. There's only so many ways to fucking do shit, and there's only so many things that, when it comes to fashion. So if the delivery of information is the same, if these people who are, you know, to, to, to be very honest, these people seem like very good salespeople, as are Aaron, as is Jose. They're very good salespeople. What's the fucking difference? The difference is these two motherfuckers care about their physicality. The difference is these two motherfuckers work out. Think about a fucking job interview, right? You're the hiring manager. You're, you're the hiring manager. Three people show up to this fucking job. Three fucking people. One and okay, all three are impeccably dressed, impeccably groomed, and have you know all the fucking accessories, and their resumes are all identically awesome. Just fucking awesome. They all have great experience, they all have great knowledge, they all have the fucking ed education and pedigrees, they all have, have you know all the fucking you know absolutely best fucking uh references, everything like that. But three fucking people show up, right? Three fucking people show up that have are, are identical in almost every other fucking way except and they're all handsome, and they're, they're all fucking well-groomed, or anything like that. Three fucking people show up. Three. One motherfucker is skinny fat. Looks like a fucking rail. Looks like he has never lifted a fucking weight in his life. Still handsome, but obviously does not work out at all. Uh, very, 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 very thin, and, you know, and, and it looks kind of physically, physically weak, wearing a nice, beautifully tailored suit, right? Another motherfucker who's about 350 pounds, 400 pounds, and obviously morbidly obese, but still impeccably dressed, right? And, and you know, groomed, everything like that, you know, everything else is equal. And another motherfucker who obviously hits the gym every fucking day, who obviously grinds it out every fucking day, who obviously makes the fucking time every fucking day, every damn day, this motherfucker goes to the goddamn gym and, cr and cranks it out, fucking watches what he eats, dedicated to his fucking fitness, to his long-term health, dedicated. Who gets hired? I can almost guarantee you 99 out of 100 fucking times, it's the motherfucker that goes to the gym. You know why? Because as a hiring manager, your mind goes to what are the what are the differences in these motherfuckers? If all else things are equal, what does what does their actual physicality say about them? This motherfucker is you know physically weak 
and literally does not try to improve themselves. This other motherfucker is morbidly obese, will probably miss work more often because they're going to get sick and have, you know, do their morbid obesity and does not take care of themselves. And this motherfucker is driven, has self-motivation, goes to the fucking gym every day, is a self-starter, has, you know, has dedication to the long-term process of remaining healthy. That's the motherfucker that would get hired. I guarantee that. So just as an example from these, you know, uh, fashion biscuits of what fitness actually does for you besides actually being fit and healthy is it actually benefit your fucking career. And that's just my two cents no matter. My name's Alan Roberts. Hit me up on Instagram at Everyday Day Fitness. Hit me up on Twitter at Everyday Fitness. I'm also on Facebook at Everyday Fitness. I'm on the internet at EverydayDayFitness.net. Check out my second channel, Alan Roberts, in my opinion, of course. Goddamn.